Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VI Pixel Remaster. This is your ever lovable host, Shadowblade730. And since last time, I went ahead and went to the Coliseum, bet my Ragnarok to get the Illumina, just used Edgar with basically Dragoon setup, and I used a Fire Shield, and yeah. Come on, Illumina. More importantly, I do want to buy three Angel's Wings here in the town of Gidor. Don't think I'll need anything else, but you'll see why I have those Angel Wings. More importantly, let's head over here to the main mansion of Gidor. Remember those rumors of someone hiring a very, very good painter here? Let's see what this all that's all I'm talking about. Stay away! Is this like poltergeist or something? And now just a, a magical book just appears? Yeah, I'm getting some real poltergeist vibes here. Now let's read all about it. Okay. And he's writing about everything in his diary, isn't he? Oh, an artist from Kalinian. Okay, must be the one they were talking about. So let's hit the lights. Check out all these paintings here. Okay. Ooh, hey, it's a, pen a picture of Emperor Gashal. Suit armor. Yep, probably the last we'll ever see of him. Let's check out this one. A lovely lay. Whoa. Misty's? Holy crap. Okay. Take these creatures out. <coughs> oh, that should need some pretty damage. Eyeshadow. Let's out a flame scroll. Take one out. Flame scroll is going to be really, really good in this area. Rock slide. Yeah. Yeah. Better than nothing, I guess. Hey, Gal's about to get level. Better put him on zone seek. That's good. Whoa, looks like there was a door behind there. Alright. Now this isn't a very long area, but you know what? I think this is probably one of, another one of my favorite areas because it's just so unique. You have all these um, paintings coming to life, coming trying to attack us. Reminds me of like, like the old haunted house movies. Ooh, new enemies, curl cats and blade dancers. We're the only thing to really worry about here, the blade dancers. They can actually throw things kind of like how Shadow does and can deal some really, really good damage. One flame scroll to take out all the kitty cats. Yeah, he's not, oh, wow. That's why I like having um, Shadow here. Because like I said, he can actually block the, um, what you call it. Unfortunately, she isn't immune to anything that. But she's toast. And Gal gained a level, plus two magic. And you know, I'll probably, I don't know if I'm going to take that off over. Yeah, I'm just going to leave him with, um... Here we get another Moogle suit, which you can probably trade and get another Genji armor, if I'm not mistaken. Probably do that, too. I like Genji armor. It's got really good defense. Really good stats. You know what? Yeah. You set ready to go. Now, this area can be a little tricky. Uh, more enemies. Crushers and Caldiris. But I'm not going to worry about it. Just use a good flame scroll with Shadow here. I'm just gonna burn down the house. If you ever get to turn. There we go. I should wipe them all out. There we go. Got him. Uh, pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Best thing is with Sully's learning from Bella Dramago. Yeah, I don't have to worry about changing. Here we get a Lich Ring. Lich Ring will actually, if you equip it as a relic, it'll make you undead. <laughs> now, just be careful here because it will just bring you back to where you were and just pop that around. Mm, ooh, two blade dancers. This could be bad. All right. Uh, do you want to throw a flame scroll? Get rid of those crushers. Ugh. Uh. Let's go to Perusa for landfall. It's just so good. I, mean, I could have brought in Saban, but you know, honestly, he's been with my party for quite a bit, so I'll kind of change it up a little bit. Ow! Whoa. Good thing Gal's got that high, high defense. But Rock Slide will take care of this real nice. I mean, Rock Slide may not do the damage that um, Phantom Rush can do, and it may not be as reliable as executing Phantom Rush, but it's not bad. Uh, once again, let's heal everyone, and uh, yeah, we're gonna equip a Esper Unlock. Quick Bismarck is that plus two strength bonus. Uh, Shadow, probably gonna go with Quetzalcoatl for that plus one speed. Next level or two, I probably will put Shadow on, um, 
I guess there's only one. There we go. Yep, right here. I should gain some HP too. Uh, that's a bag attack, so we'll just have Shadow throw a flame. Flame scheme. Flame scroll. It's hard for me not to refer to them as, as schemes because I'm so used to the original Final Fantasy VI. I probably played that game. The only game Final Fantasy game I probably played more than six was four. But I have played six a lot. But yeah, like I said, it's just kind of hard for me kind of translating from those two versions. Let's get Bismarck off of him since he got his plus two magic. Yeah, he should get his catch a Kawato bonus from leveling soon. Now that room over there could be kind of tricky. Because I want to get those four treasures, even though they're not too great. I want to get them just for completions. This is probably the, the, the encounter you get all four times, so... Bust out the fire scheme. More fire scroll, flame scrolls. I'll take the kitty cats out. Um, go for Perusa. Hopefully survive. Ow. And we got it. Right. And Shadow gain is level. Plus one speed. All right. Hmm, excuse me. Open the chest up. Uh, a little bit of money. But we can take off Ketsuko out now. I got, like I said, I don't really want Shadow to learn too much because I still kind of use him um, in the arena. Mainly for his momentum, momentum charm. There's a lot of enemies that um, you can encounter when betting items in the policy and have like, really nasty instant death attacks. And with momentum ring, it's just like, no, you're not going to do that to me. There we go. Alright. Ooh, Sully's about to gain that little, that level. That's going to be cool. Alright, got a potion. Alright. Something I'll never use. Why they give you a potion there when you're in the world of ruin and have HP probably in the thousands, I don't know. But it's what they put in the chest there, so okie dokie. Alright, more of this enca same encounter. Hey, that's going to make him hit harder. <laughs> Surprised I didn't kill it. Come on, Shadow. Come on, Shadow. There we go. I actually killed that blade damage. Yep, all three of them. All six of them actually nice. And Sully's gained a level. More magic. Yeah, I was probably gonna gain another level soon too. Open this chest and we get an ether. Alright. I mean if you don't want to open these chests, you don't have to because like I said, most of the contents are just icky at best. Blood dance. Yeah, healed up a little bit. And through a dang. Okay, get this set up. Scroll. All right, got them all. Good deal, good deal. Hey, Shadow Blade learned Thundara that I will never use. Hopefully. Just one of the benefits of having... Oh, get a gold needle. And better not that good. Yeah. One of those little benefits I really don't like you get from having the elemental shields equipped, but man, they're just so daggum good. Now, if you access this piece of armor, you get to fight a still life. Um, not that hard to actually defeat. It doesn't have that much HP. Now, you can actually encounter them on the Velt now. And, if I'm not mistaken, I think they have a decent rage for, um, Gal. But, yep, they're toast. I have to remember, I have to look it up. I don't think, I forgot what they actually, but I think it's a pretty good rage you can get on for Gal. But I pretty much have all the rages I technically want for Gal, except for the uh, Tyrannosaur one, which is... Honestly, the Tyrannosaur one is really, really hard to get. Because, like, so you have to kill a Tyrannosaur. And Tyrannosaurs, especially if you get the wrong kind of encounter with two of them in a pincer attack, they will kill you with Meteor and all kinds of nastiness. Now, here I'm actually, um, set up a quick save because I want to show you where that door to my left there actually goes. Without actually having to go back and all this other stuff. So, yeah. Set up a quick save. Go over here. And uh, poof, it brings you all the way back over here. So I don't want to have that happen. So let's just reload my quick save. And we should, yep, right where I want. Okay. Head up here. Opens this door. Huh. Rather elaborate place. Whoa, look, it's Job of the Hut. Uta Guta Solo. Actually, that was Greedo who said that. Um. 
<laughs> now I can't remember a Jabba line, go figure. A few times I can remember a Star Wars line, but it's time for boss battle time against Shardernook. The demon that has possessed the painting that happens to be a very, very naked girl. Well, I love how the sensor just happened to put just a little mist there where her naughty bits are. But whoa, I guess that's its real form. Shadernook's not that tough of a boss. Um, it does use, um, I think it's Acid Rain or something like that. Do some okay damage. It does use Thundara, so yeah. No Thundara. But not that difficult. There's a point where you want everyone pretty much to have Thunder Shields. If you have them, if not, well, that's what it is. <laughs> Go. Locke's taking some damage. That means he's gonna hit even harder when it comes to his turn. Oh yeah, now I remember a Java line. Bow shooter. They used to be a good Star Wars card from Star Wars CCG back in the day. That was my phone after CCG. Oh, there's flash rain. Ooh, may kill Locke. Hopefully it doesn't kill Locke. Okay, now Locke's hurting. Locks really good. Okay, yeah, I'll get a cure it. Ah, I too much. Shouldn't do anything to you. Oh. I mean, if you really want to, you can't. Well, I like to keep at least one Genji shield for certain things, but I mean, it's not bad some Genji shields to get some Thunder shields in the range. Okay, Rock Slide. It should be about dead. Entice. Oh, I hate Entice. Yeah, and Tice could be really, really annoying. But I think he'll actually, whenever he hits... It's some weird mechanic. Let me see. Yep, if when he attacks, he actually attacks himself. Flash rain. A little bit of damage. This is where the Thunder Shield's coming real nice. You? You? You couldn't have. You shouldn't have. Yep. Bye bye, Chardonnay. Uh, nobody takes art seriously these days. It's a Picasso. Definitely a Picasso. But we killed it. Six magic AP. All right. Well, makes sense that she would be the artist. I mean, she does kind of paint. Um, photographs and well bad things tended to happen so yeah yeah what was the monster doing in that thing what have you been doing here realm you've been summoning demons Lakshmi oh what stone oh in the bookcase yeah it's a magic site awesome well sure I'll take it for the Lakshmi magic site well, more importantly, now we have Realm in our party. All right. Let's check out that Lakshmi, um, Lakshmi, or magic site. Yeah, really good regenerative magic. Kiraga, too. Don't know if I actually get Kiraga, but yeah. And here's Midgard Serpent. I'll probably never use those. The abilities are hot trash, but oh well. But now that we have um, Realm in our party, we can actually acquire one other party member that's going to be in my party for quite some time kind of leveling them up and getting them ready because yeah they've been kind of on the sidelines probably some of the last ones I'm gonna get I think there's only a few other party members I need to get right now so first things first head over to this tower that we've been kind of buzzing around a lot change our party members yeah, sure. uh, definitely want realm uh, I only want two magic users uh, what am I gonna get? I guess I could put Terra for right now just to get it done. Cyan, and we'll just go with these two. Just screw them. And honestly, I'll probably take Terra out after this anyway because, like I said, I only want two magic boosts. Then we can have one just in case they level up. I can have it for Zone Seek, or so they always get that plus two magic bonus for leveling up. Hey, look, it's Strago! If you come over here with Realm in your party, guess what? Kind of, she kind of knocks some sense into his old behind. You stubborn mule. Yep. 
I don't know why Strago would have joined the cult of Kefka, but that is what it is. Hey, old man. <laughs> oh. Looks like your granddaughter's alive, bub. Come on, man. We're all alive. Come on, we're getting the band back together. We're on a mission to destroy Kefka. Come on, you old whippersnappers. <laughs> Alright, for more party members with Strago! Alright, that's gonna be nice. Yeah, um, I think I'm gonna head to the arena and get a couple things. And in the meantime, what awaits us as we continue to explore the world of ruin and gather more party members, equipment, and abilities to destroy Kefka? Find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy VI Pixel Remaster. Sure, have a level of Shadowblade 730. If you like my content, please like, share, subscribe, maybe throw in a comment or two. And I will see you all next adventure. Take it easy.